Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review of the new Makeup Revolution um, Fast Base Foundation. So stay tuned and keep watching. But before I start, as always, a quick shout out to those of you stopping by my channel for the first time. I hope you like what you see. And if you do, don't forget to like and comment and hit the subscribe button down below. So before I get into the review, I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into the tutorial and after the tutorial is done, I will give you guys my overall review and all the specifications about these new foundations. So the two shades I'm going to be reviewing are F15 and F13. I'm not 110% sure if F15 is going to fit me, which is why I picked up F13 as well. Just in case if this is a little bit too dark, I can use this to kind of even it out. Or worst case scenario, I'll just use this as a highlighter, which is what I think I'll end up doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch these two colours on the back of my hand, just to show you what they look like. So that applies really really well as you can see it might be a little bit dark obviously as you can see my face is a lot darker than my hands so we'll see when we swatch it on my face this is f15 and this is f13 so it's a really nice warm color obviously i can never use it for my face but if this is a little bit too dark i'll use it to even it out if not it'll be a perfect highlight shade i'm quickly going to swatch c13 which is the concealer shade, concealer shade to see if they kind of correspond or if it's darker or lighter so this is a fresh c13 i'd actually run out so i just had to pick this up in the store yesterday when i picked up the foundation so this is what it looks like next to the foundation and as you can see it's a little bit darker it's a tad bit darker it's obviously a lot warmer so the shades don't correspond but yeah i'm not, I'm not even sure they're supposed to be well i'm just showing that they don't really match up so i'm gonna go ahead and start applying this to my face so i'm quickly gonna prime and i like to prime with the makeup revolution oil control fixing spray it is a fixing spray but it works really really well as a primer so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on I've moved the camera in a little bit closer just so that you guys can see what's going on. As you can see, I do have quite a bit of acne scarring, so we shall see how good the coverage is. I think this is supposed to be light to medium coverage, apparently, or like medium coverage, so we'll see. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying F15 to my face. So it does look a little bit darker, but like I said, my face doesn't really match my body at all in the slightest. So I do tend to go for darker foundation sometimes if I can't find one that matches me, and then... I just use concealer to kind of even it out. So I'm gonna do one side of my face just to show you guys how it compares to the other side of my face. But like I said, if it like, if I look like totally darker, it's okay because I usually even out my foundation when I have that and contour. So far, so good. I think the coverage is really, really good. You can't really see too much of my acne scars. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this all in. So far, so good. Like the coverage really is there. This is what we've got so far for one side as you can see it's a tad bit dark the color before this was f14 but honestly it looks so neutral i don't think it would have been any better than this so i'm not gonna lie i do feel like i kind of struggle to find my shade but i'm praying that by the time i put on f13 it will kind of even out so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face so far so good this is like one layer on my skin and i think the coverage is pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and just put in a little bit more on my cheek where my acne scars are more prominent and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply f um f13 but as you can see compared to my face and my hand it is really really dark but i'm really hoping it will come together in a bit So as you can see, it's got a really, really dewy finish. I do have oily skin, so I'm kind of impartial to picking up kind of dewy finish, creamy foundations. But I think if you have, um, if you like a dewy finish or you have dry skin and you want something that's quite hydrating, and yeah, this would be a foundation for you. Obviously, I'm gonna have to see how it works with powder because yeah, I am looking rather dewy, if not a little bit oily, but that might just be my skin, not the foundation. And I'm gonna blend this out with my foundation brush. I blend everything with my foundation brush. So I don't really tend to go for beauty blenders, but I'm sure it would work just as fine with a beauty blender. I 
as you can see it's matching me a little bit more now like this is just a really good base um i wouldn't leave this as just my highlight and contour i'll probably go in with the lighter concealer because i do always live for bright under eye highlight so this is what we've got so far um yeah as you can see it is really really dewy and creamy which i'm not gonna lie i don't totally like i have super oily skin so when i get a foundation i want something that's mattifying so this is like really dewy obviously i'm gonna go ahead and set this with powders but usually when i wear foundation i don't want something that's like already dewy i want something that's matte then i can make even more matte so yeah this is like hella dewy like you can see that i just look like I just look really oily um so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight again off camera because i'm, I'm not using a makeup revolution concealer usually i would use c12 but i've run out so this is what we have for skin so far so far so good like i said really really dewy finish obviously bear in mind that i did go in with that um a little bit of a lighter concealer off camera but it hasn't really made much difference so now i'm gonna go ahead and cream contour i don't usually cream contour but i just want to show you guys how the concealers and the foundations work together but i'm only going to be contouring my cheekbone just because my forehead is like basically covered and then maybe a little bit of my jawbone This is what we've got so far for skin it's just a really nice flawless base coverage is definitely there the concealers and the foundation do go really really well together so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera then i'll be back to give you guys my overall review of the foundations so before i give you guys my overall review of the foundations really quickly the specifications um, and just a close-up of foundations i didn't think i really showed them earlier but this is what it looks like it comes in this kind of like creamy matte um barrel packaging obviously your kind of standard form for a found um cream stick foundation and it's got rose gold detailing which i think is really really cute and it kind of corresponds with the concealer the same kind of design um they retail at five pounds a pop which is just like super super affordable when it runs out you can easily re-up so it's a really really good price they are currently available on tam beauty <coughs> which is the official um store for makeup revolution amongst other brands and it's also available online on super Drug, but it's not going to be available in store until the 28th of this month the 28th of march i do feel that because it wasn't available in store it was a little bit hard for me to pick out my shade as you saw it was a little bit dark i think for now we brought it together you know the face is looking good it's all right well now i usually do have that problem with foundation anyway as you can see my chest is kind of, well we saw earlier my chest is pretty lighter than my face and my hands like my face my face is just darker than the rest of my body i do often have a problem picking a foundation but usually i go darker and then i just even it out like i did so yeah um but i feel like if i had bought it in store maybe i would have been able to pick my foundation better but on that note let's quickly talk about the shade range so the foundation is available in 18 shades just like the um concealer so for a first release it's really really good this is just a picture that Superdrug uploaded as you can see i don't know if you can see it too well obviously you know i ain't really gonna go out and purchase all 18 shades that's a lot of money before but um it's a really good range and but there are some downsides like the concealers there was definitely a significant jump in the shade range um for example f13 and f14 and f13 and f12 as you can see but i think for a first release it's really really good and i'm sure that they're going to release some more stuff and i'm sure they've heard people's feedback from the concealers as well but obviously it takes a long time to make products so obviously this is already in the works so there's no way they could have just come out and released extra extra shades so the foundations are also cruelty free and they are vegan in case anyone is wondering but now that we've gone through the specifications my overall review of the product yeah so i i love I love the packaging the packaging is really really cute i'm not gonna lie i don't totally love the finish like i said i have oily skin i'm really an oily bitch so i do tend to stray away from like um cream stick foundations so i know i know they're like they have a dewy finish and that's absolutely fine but for me i don't know if this is going to be a product i reach for on a regular but i do really like it if you are someone who's partial to a dewy finish this is definitely for you but as you can see i did really bring it together with the powder and everything like it does look good but obviously i have to do a wear test and see if it's going to hold up as well as a matte foundation that i would usually use would hold up um it, it's definitely a, the reason they call it a fast base is because it applies really quickly and it does literally put it on and blend and it takes what a couple of seconds so this is really really good if you're on the go um 
as composed compared to like using a cream foundation or a liquid foundation another thing i really like about this foundation is the way it applies like i said it applies really fast but it doesn't drag against your skin at all the way you kind of think a stick foundation would it just literally glides on really really nice which i love but yeah overall review i do really like the foundation it's just personally because i have really oily skin it's not something i may reach for in the future but we shall see i might grow to like it but overall i would definitely recommend to pick it up at the end of the day it's only a fiver and like i said it's available on tan beauty and the super drug website at the moment but it's going to be available in store on the 28th of this month so yeah so thanks so much for tuning in to this review guys hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like and comment and hit the subscribe button down below also if you want to see a more in-depth review of the concealers i do have that a couple videos back if you'd also like to see a review of this wig this is a blue ombre aliexpress synthetic lace front wig if you want to see a review of this i've got a video a couple of videos back and if you're also interested in this top that i'm wearing i have also got the details on a try on boohoo haul like a video back so check that out if you're interested but yeah thanks for tuning in guys i hope you see you in my next video bye